Welcome to Program Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about how to display text on LCD. Okay, let's go. In this video, I will use LCD like this. There are many pixel LCD as 20 multiplied to, 32 multiplied to, etc. But I will use the LCD with 16 multiplied to. Uh, it means you, in this LCD, we have 16 columns and 2 rows. That means is 16 multiplied 2. And this LCD has two types. Uh, the first one is LCD without I2C module. This is the LCD without I2C module. And this is the front side. The back side is like this, but it don't have a I2C module like this. This is the back side of LCD has the I2C module support. This is the I2C module. There are some other function, but with our I2C modules, you have to connect 16 pins. If you don't use the I2C modules, you have to connect 16 pins to Arduino. But as you know, the Arduino you know where you see has no more pins. So that's the reason why everyone usually use the LCD has I2C module support like this, okay? And the second reason is the I2C modules will help you easily communicate between Arduino and LCD, uh, which is only communicate with LCD via I2C protocol. Yeah, okay. Uh, next is the I2C pins of Arduino. This is the I2C pins. The I2C pins just use two pins to communicate with the device. The first is SDA, it means zero data. And the second is SCL, that means zero clock. Okay, the SDA is pins A4 and the SCL is pin A5. And this is another position, that's a two pins right here is next to USB jack okay is as a method function but it just uh, are different from position and with the support of the Arduino community all around the world they uh, wrote the LCD library for user you can search that library on Google but this is a link I see very simple to start with LCD so I will put this link below the video okay when I click to the link it will redirect us to this and then we have to click this link it will redirect uh, to github you have to clone all of this to your computer okay and after you download all of this with the zip file you have to include it to the IDE Arduino okay and you have to click to sketch include library and click to add zip library then you need to point to your zip file you have already downloaded okay okay now we try to connect the diagram like this uh, this is diagram I connect with the Arduino I have a LCD with the I2C support and this is Arduino you know we connect 5 voltage to the VCC GND to GND A4 pin A4 to SD8 and pin A5 to HCL okay let's connect I will use 4 wires like the diagram black, green, blue and red okay now we connect to my LCD the green is SCL to connect to A5 SCL okay next is SDA connect to SC SDA and ground And the last one is VCC. Okay, we we'll do five on touch. 
okay done Okay, now the first thing we have to do before uploading code to the Arduino is we have to find out the address of I2C module. Okay, this is the link uh, we can scan the code of LCD I2C. Okay, I will click on it. And in this link, they have some code to scan the I2C code right here. This is code. You have to copy all of this. And okay, we'll pass to the my project. Okay, here and then you just upload to your Arduino. Okay, now I will upload to my Arduino to scan down what is the address of I2C module. You have to open the serial monitor. Okay, it's right here the I2C device found at address 0x3f. Okay, this is the I2C module's address. Now I will connect to Okay, now I will use the code like this. Okay, this is my code. Uh, the first one I will include the liquid crystal I2C dot H. This is a library of LCD, and you have to include it to your project. The second one. The second one is uh, like with crystal I to say this e will init the LCD with zero multiply twenty seven. This is the address, but my address is three F. Okay, and the second parameter is sixteen. That means sixteen columns, and the last one is two. This is the two rows. Okay, address column and row. In the setup function, we have LCD dot init. This is the init LCD. Okay, just init it. And next is backlight. This means when you uh, run this function, the backlight will turn on. Okay, next is clear. This means clear all the characters are being displayed on LCD. Clear for anything is will be deleted. Okay, next is LCD set cursor. This means your LCD will start at column 0 and row 0. And next is print hello world to your LCD. Okay, let's check. Now we upload to my Arduino. Check part. Okay, upload. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, we have hello world. And the first is start from here. That is cursor zero zero. Okay, that's a hello world. Okay, let's check if I don't use LCD backlight. I will use LCD no backlight. Okay, let upload. Okay, as you see, the backlight isn't turned on, but the character will be displayed. Okay, you can see the hello world, right? Hello world. But the backlight is turned off. Okay, that is the reason why we have to set up the backlight. Okay. And if you want to bring the cursor, we have the LCD cursor right here. LCD cursor. And I will bling it. Okay, first we will try to use LCD cursor. Oh, sorry. Okay, as you see, the cursor right here. But I want to bling it and we'll use LCD dot blinked. Okay, let's check. 
okay it blink right and we have to use LCD dot clear right here because if I bring twice without clear the character will be uh, replace each other and before it I will set the cursor okay let's check if I don't clear it will replace the old characters you see right here is the D of word is something error right now I try to clear it before bring the new character right here I will put the LCD dot clear now let's check okay as you see it doesn't display anymore okay uh, we have uh, another function like this e LCD scroll display right or left so what's that I will use for you know what is that okay okay I have some function right here here I have already written it mm, okay just left it here and then copy the LCD dot print like this okay clear the cursor and blink okay I will bring the welcome to program knowledge to the LCD but the welcome to program knowledge will be display and scroll left to right okay let's check okay you see the text is scroll left and right right and left but it's quite fast right I will make it slower okay okay uh, the reason why I have the volume right here is the 13 is 13 character it mean it will scroll the welcome to program knowledge to the left until it disappear and then it will scroll to the right 29 29 values until it uh, disappear from the right okay let's see until it disappear and then it scroll to the left 16 this mean we will uh, set the welcome to program manually to the first column okay uh, uh, this 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 is the reason why one two three four sixteen and one two three four five six four five to the twenty eight and then come back to the sixteen okay that is the reason why I have some correct uh, some variable right here okay sorry the first one is 13 not 16 okay so now if you want to change the speed of text what I have to do okay I have a diagram like this I will use the potentiometer to control it I will connect I will use the left pin or the right pin to connect to power in but in this picture I will use the left pins to connect to 5 voltage the right pin to connect to GND and the center pin is connect to pin A0 I will use analog to read the voltage signal from the potentiometer then I will transfer to the delay function okay now I will connect it to my circuit Here I have some wire. I also use green, blue, black, and red. First, black for GND. GND. Red for 
uh, ref for VCC green for SCL and the blue for SDA okay now we'll connect SCL to A5 blue to A4 okay and the chindi to chindi but you have to connect five voltage to here for sharing with the potentiometer now we we'll connect to five voltage connect here to chindi i will connect like this first and then i will plug the potentiometer after that okay now the signal the signal to a0 signal to a0 signal to a0 okay now I will connect the potentiometer I use the 1 kilo ohm you can use any variable you want okay now try some code i'll use the old code but i just change change this analog read from pins a0 if you all don't remember how to use it you can watch the old video that's the analog read and write okay okay now we'll connect my Arduino to my computer and then let's check okay now we upload my code when it turn the potentiometer the speed will be changed okay now we t turn it to left is low but now we change it to right it's faster okay as you see it's faster now we'll try again turn to left turn to right turn to left right okay that's the only thing about how to control LCD and you can use the other library as you want but the library I recommend is very easy to use so you can try it before you use some the other uh, library okay thank you for watching